In this problem, we are told that the voltage and current at the terminals of a circuit element are, and then we are given this part right here, which is the voltage, and then we are given this part right here, which is the current that is written in milliamps. We are asked how much energy is delivered to the circuit element between 0 and 625 microseconds. Since we are finding wattage right here, we are going to have to use the power formula. So we can write this down first in the power formula to find power. It's equal to voltage times our current, which is I. Since we have a lower boundary and we also have an upper boundary, it's most likely that we are going to have to take the integral of this. And taking the integral of our P, power, we are gonna get wattage. So we'll have wattage from zero to 60, and we'll have this is equals, and we'll set this as our integral with our zero microseconds and our 625 microseconds. We're going to need to change this so we can actually plug it into our formula because in our formula, when we deal with T for time, we only deal with seconds. Same thing with milliamps, we're gonna have to change that to amps because we only work in amps. Voltage is fine because it's just in volts. And then when we're done with the entire problem, we're gonna have to convert it into microjoules. So plugging this in, we're gonna first plug our voltage in, and then we're going to plug our current in. Our voltage is this part, so this is what we're gonna write first into our integral, and then we're gonna write this part in. I put the first part in, but before we continue on to the next part, I'm gonna convert our milliamps into amperes. So we have all of this in milliamps. We are going to multiply this, and we know that one milli is equal to 10 to the negative cubed. So we need to have our milli on the bottom. We're gonna have M down here. That means we're gonna have our 10 to the negative three up here. And then we are gonna throw in our amps to match this. Our milliamps are gonna cancel out, and then we're just gonna have our amps left on top. I have put this into our integral, and then I'm going to leave our 10 to the negative cubed out here, and I'm also gonna leave our voltage and our amps out here. Since it's voltage times amps, we know that this is going to be in joules, so I'm just gonna put a J here. And then once we have this conversion, we need a DT, because we are integrating with respects to T, or time and then this voltage is just going to be turned into our joules. Now we are going to factor everything in so we are going to multiply this by this, have this here, same thing with this on the bottom, just basic algebraic stuff. So when we do this we're going to have that our wattage is equal to the integral of our zero microseconds and then we have our uh, 625 microseconds but we want these to be seconds, so we might as well just convert them now. I'm gonna convert 625 and zero at the same time, but since zero microseconds is just going to be zero seconds, we can leave that as is, and then just convert 625 microseconds. We're gonna do that up here. So we have 625 microseconds, and this is being multiplied by, well, we know one microsecond is equal to 10 to the negative sixth. So we're gonna have micro down here to get rid of it, and then our 10 to the negative six up top, and then we're gonna just tag on a second to get rid of this microsecond. So now we're left with a 625 times 10 to the negative six up top as our upper limit for our integral. Now we are going to factor everything in. To solve this, I'm gonna break this integral into parts and do it like this. So we're gonna have W is equal to, and I'll do the first part in red. So we're gonna have our integral. This is going from zero to 625 times 10 to the negative six. And then inside of here, we have the integral of 250e negative 3200t. Next, I'm gonna do in blue where we have our minus, and then if we wanted to, we could move the constants out front, but I'll just leave them in here for now. Zero, 625 times 10 to the negative six. And then we have our 500e negative 2000t. And then we have our plus, and then the next, integral which is from 0 to 625 times 10 to the negative 6 and then we have our 250 times e to the negative 800 t and then all of this is just being multiplied by our 10 to the negative 3 cubed joules and then um, we have a dt for each of these integrals 
I realize I didn't switch to colors, but it's past that now, so we're just going to keep going on. And now we integrate the first part. So this is, this is going to be the chunky part, but we have w is equal to, so we're going to have our constant, which is 25, and then by the integral, we'll have a negative 3200 down here. And then we are going to have the integrated part inside of our bracket, which is e to the negative 3200 t. This is just basic differential equations. If we wanted to check this, we would just take the derivative of this and we would see that we would get what we have up here. So next we are just going to have our 625 times 10 to the negative sixth here, and then our zero down here. And then we are just going to do the same for the rest of them, where we are gonna have a negative 500 here, and then we have our negative 200, so this is gonna turn to a positive, and this is going to be over 200 like this. And I think I made an error. This should be 2,000. I left out a zero. This should be 2,000 right here. And so it's 2,000 right here. Next, we have our E negative 2,000 T. Again, basic differential equation stuff. And lastly, we have a 250 over 800. And I just realized because we have a negative 800 up top, this should be negative right here. And then inside of our integral, we have a neg E negative 800 t and then again just like we had up here and we should have up here 625 times 10 to the negative 6 0 and then 0 times 625 times 10 to the negative 6 this is all basic differential equations it's kind of messy but it's also pretty big and this is going to be surrounded by our 10 to the negative cubed and then joules it's important that we remember these two. We can't forget them, otherwise our problem will be totally wrong. So from here, um, we just have to clean up this mess and plug everything in. The first thing I would recommend doing is plugging in this 10 to the negative cubed and then plugging this part, this part, and this part into a calculator. So plugging all of these into a calculator and distributing this 10 to the negative cubed into all of them. I also made a mistake up here. I just realized I left out the zero in my 25 up here. This should be 250, not just 25 um, because of the zero right here. So we're gonna have a 250 right here. Again, plugging this into a calculator, we're gonna get that W is equal to negative 7.8125 times 10 to the negative five. This is for this part being multiplied by this 10 to the negative cubed again because we factored in the 10 to the negative cubed now we are going to plug in the integrated part so we have our e to the negative 3200 and this is being multiplied by our 625 times 10 to the negative sixth power and then after this we have to plug in our zero anything to the zeroth power is just one so we're going to just have a minus one here and this is the entire first part done. Now we have two more parts to do. So since this is pretty long, I'm just going to do it on the next line. We are gonna plug in a calculator, 500 divided by 2000. And this is being multiplied by 10 to the negative cubed. If we do this, we get 2.5 times 10 to the negative four. And this is being added. So we're gonna have a plus 2.5 times 10 to the negative four. And then we have our bracket like this and then the integrated part we have to look at so we have e to the negative 2000 and then our t which is going to be 625 times 10 to the negative 6 and then anything to the zeroth power again is just minus 1 so we have our minus 1 in here um, this is smaller so I am actually just going to do the next part on the same line uh, we have a minus sign here and then we're gonna have our 250 divided by 800 and after we do that we are just going to multiply our 10 to the negative cubed in because we have to factor this in. So 250 divided by 800 times 10 to the negative cubed is going to give us 3.125 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now we have our integrated part and inside of our integrated part we have E negative 800 and then our T which is 625 times 10 to the negative sixth and then we have a minus one here. And we're going to bracket this off, and we are done. We just have to plug all of this correctly 
back into a calculator. So I'm going to rewrite this on the same line since we figured out everything and it's a little bit cleaner. And now we just have to carefully plug that entire huge equation correctly into a calculator. And after we carefully plug all of this into a calculator, we get W is equal to 1.21373, and we can just round it off there, times 10 to the negative 5. We cannot forget our joules, so we need our joules right here, and we need a joules right here. The problem asks us to convert it to microjoules. So we're going to have to do this conversion, looking at the chart in the notes linked below. We have to multiply this, we have to um, make it converted to microjoules. And from the chart that I made linked in the notes below, we have that one micro is 10 to the negative sixth. So we need a micro, we're going to have our micro up top, since this is what we want to convert it to. Then we have our 10 to the negative sixth on bottom, we just tack on a joule to get rid of this joule right here. And then we're gonna take the difference of this 10 to the negative fifth, 10 to the negative sixth, 10 to the negative one here, flip this over, and we are gonna get times 10. So we're just gonna move the decimal place one to the positive side. And this is gonna give us our final answer, which is the W or wattage is equal to 12.1373 joules or I'm sorry, microjoules. And this is the final answer. This is all the work that we did to get this problem. It is pretty long, but that's just mostly integrating and it's pretty complex um, just because of the large numbers, but the problem itself is not complex. This is the last problem of the section and it was fun. Good night.